In this video, you will get a short view of the HPE SimpliVity interface and some of the key functionality of the HPE SimpliVity data virtualization platform. Here you can see a pair of vSphere clusters in different data centers. All data in the HPE SimpliVity hyperconverged infrastructure is deduplicated, compressed, and optimized in line from the moment it is created and maintained in the state through its entire lifecycle. In this example, you will see that the cluster is storing a logical equivalent of about 280 terabytes, which is made up of virtual machine data, local backups, and backups of virtual machines from the other cluster. HPE SimpliVity backups are always full backups with no dependencies on the original virtual machine or previous backups. By deduplicating and compressing all of this data, we are seeing an overall efficiency of 42.6 to 1. All this results in a savings of 272.7 terabytes of capacity and I.O. that never had to happen, reducing our hardware needs and improving application performance. This data efficiency enables some significant advantages in how we manage the VMs. Looking at a specific VM, we can see all the standard information about this virtual machine, including the fact that it's written about 489 gigabytes of disk space. On the screen, we can also see a widget that has been added by the HPE SimpliVity plugin. This widget provides some information about this VM, including the backup policy applied to this VM. Clicking on this, you will see that a policy is a collection of rules that define where the backup will be stored, when the backup will be taken, how long it will be retained for, and whether or not the backup will require application consistencies. Policies are created once and applied to multiple VMs to make the finding and changing data protection across many VMs very easy. By right-clicking on this virtual machine, we can see there are a bunch of HPE SimpliVity actions that we can take on this virtual machine. We'll start by creating a clone of the VM. I'll call this one Demo Clone and click OK. As part of the integration to the vSphere web client, all SimpliVity actions are tracked through the vSphere tasks and can be viewed in the recent tasks pane. Here we'll see that the cloning of this virtual machine took only seven seconds and is available in the inventory. Now we want to take a backup of it. By selecting backup virtual machine, we get a dialog that allows us to name the backup. Let's use demo local backup. In which cluster we want to store this backup. In this case, we'll use local. Clicking OK, we'll start the process of creating this backup. Using deduplication, clones and backups of virtual machines can be created in just seconds with almost no I.O. or additional capacity. This backup operation can also be tracked in the recent tasks pane and is already complete, having taken only four seconds. If I want to protect this virtual machine from the loss of an entire data center, I simply need to take another backup. Call it demo remote backup and select a different data center cluster. Clicking OK, this backup will be created and sent to the remote site. This transfer maintains deduplication and compression by comparing the data used by this backup to the data already in the remote cluster to determine which unique blocks need to be sent. Checking our recent task pane, we can see that the remote backup has completed and only took three seconds. Now let's say the Mumbai data center gets lost due to a disaster and that will naturally result in the loss of our virtual machine. If we want to recover that virtual machine in the Seattle data center, we simply need to go to the Seattle cluster under the Manage tab and search the SimpliVity backups. Selecting the backup and choosing to restore the virtual machine will allow us to restore the entire virtual machine. We simply need to identify what name we want to give it. We'll give it a name of Demo Restore and choose one of the Seattle data stores. Clicking OK will start the process of the restore. Similar to the clone and backup operations, this virtual machine is being recreated with very little I.O. As you can see, they complete in very little time. A full VM restored from a deleted virtual machine took only four seconds to complete. Once the Mumbai data center is operational again, you'll want to move the virtual machine back. To do this quickly and efficiently as possible, you can simply right click on the virtual machine and select Move Virtual Machine. We'll maintain the same name and choose one of the Mumbai data stores. Then click OK. Now the HPE SimpliVity data virtualization platform is migrating the unique data the same way it did with the remote backup a feat that is only possible on the HPE SimpliVity hyperconverged infrastructure.